So now that we have a basic layout for our Chrome extension, it's time to add some functionality. Um, so the first thing we want to do is pull information from the web page that this extension uh, has been opened on. And we want to populate um, our uh, text boxes here and our image um, to show that information to the user. So what we want to do um, with that is uh, the first thing is we're going to create a new flow. So this is a flow that's going to be triggered um, on page and we're going to call this, um, action one get page title. So let's create this and now let's create uh, hit add action. And if we search Chrome in the actions list, we see this action uh, get info from browser. So click add. And in the value to retrieve, we have a list of things that we can retrieve from the page here. Um, so this is a, a uh, standard built-in action, uh, built into Builder. And we have these, this option here to pull um, various information from the page. The name, the full URL, the URL path, um, the portion after, after the domain name, uh, protocol, the page title, um, and then the row height or width. Um, so for this specific action, I want to pull the page title. Um, so I'm going to use page title. And then we're going to give uh, this a name and we're just going to call it uh, page title. And let's create a second action to pull uh, the URL, action two, we'll call it get URL. And then same thing, we're gonna search for Chrome, get info in browser, and we're gonna set this to URL. Variable name for this, uh, we will just call this page URL. And there we go. Um, so let's start by um, linking these two together. So after, uh, what I want to do is after action one runs, that gets the page title, I want to tell it to run action two um, to get the URL. And this will just link them together so that they can um, run in succession. For action three, I want to get the description. Now I'm going to use a custom uh, action in this. Um, this is a custom action that will pull information uh, from the browser, specifically from the web page, and you can specify what tag name um, you want to pull from and what property you want to get from that tag. So. To break this down a little bit, let's take a look at um, the Builder web page. So if I view the source uh, on the Builder web page, you'll see that um, there are all of these meta tags, and these are pretty standard um, on you know the majority of, of websites. And you'll see that there are each uh, meta tag has its own property, and you'll see that there's one for um, title, description, and image. Um, that's what we're going to be using today to pull um, specifically the image and description from the page because we're using the, the uh, sort of native action to pull the title. So to get the image and description, we're going to be pulling that. And I want to use the um, OG imager description or the open graph uh, image and description. So I can see here there's a meta property um, tagged OG description and a meta property tagged OG image. Um, again, you'll see these on a lot of websites. I know it's commonly used. So I'm gonna use this property so that uh, when I go to different pages using my Chrome extension, I can pull um, these elements. And I'm just gonna pull the content for each one. So for the image, it gives me a URL. And for the description, it gives me the description of the page. 
So that's what I'm uh, using to pull uh, this information. So um, here in the tag name field, I'm using meta, that's the name of the tag. The property to search in is called property. And then the value to search with, um, like we talked about for description, it's going to be OG colon description, which I just got from viewing the source. And then the property that I want it to return is the content. And then I can set that into a variable, which I'll use to uh, update my page. So I'm just calling this variable OG description. I'm going to duplicate this action for our final one, which will be action four. And on action four, we'll call this get image. Again, very similar, it's the same tags. Um, the value to search with is going to be image, OG colon image. And I wanna set a new variable name of OG image. And that's it. So we now have four actions. Let's check our links. Um, so action one, after it runs, it's gonna run action two. Action two, after that runs, I want it to run action three. And then action three, which is getting our description, will link to action four. So now we'll have um, four actions that will all run in succession. And it's going to pull this information. So it's for each one, it's pulling the information and it's setting it into a variable, but we're not actually doing anything with that variable yet. Um, we're not displaying it on our page. So we want to do that. So let's create an action called display page info. And this will allow us to display all that information we just scraped from the page to the user. So in our display page info uh, action, we're going to use um, the set value action. So it's this, uh, this one right here, element set value. This allows us to set the value of an element using uh, one of our variables. So on the first one, uh, we want to set the page title. So element is going to be page title. And then under value, we're going to say from a variable. It, the variable is on our current page, and it's called page title. So we're going to use that, and then uh, in this action, we're going to set, we're going to display all the info at once. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. And for our second one, it's going to be URL, and it's going to be pulled from page URL. And you probably get what we're doing here, but uh, we're just going to run through and set all four of our elements. So description, and lastly, image is going to be set to OG image. Now I'm just using set value. Um, this is a, a built-in action in Builder that will set the value of each element. Um, I want to make sure my image is set to a URL. So I'm going to change the image source to a URL because I know that um, that variable that I'm pulling from my meta tag is going to be a URL. So I'm going to pop that into there. All right, so now we have an action that will set all of those. Um, and I actually want to test this. I want to start testing this out as I build it and make sure it runs. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export this as a Chrome extension and run it uh, in Chrome while you're building and testing.